Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm going to be sharing with you guys today some fall lipsticks, my perfect and favorite time of the year. And we're going to get into some really pretty, pretty, pretty fall colors that we've all been waiting for to wear since it's about to cool down hopefully um but i know there's like a million fall videos fall this and fall that um but you can't can't help but get into the fall you guys come on get into it let's get into it so if you have not subscribed click the subscribe button let's get into these fall lipsticks okay so the first color you guys i want to get into is wet and wild it is the color give me mocha and it's the liquid uh the mega the mega last liquid um, lipstick you guys and these are really really pretty um, they have a really 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 pretty uh, selection of colors um, I'm gonna go ahead and just stop start at the top um, and these feel really good going on you guys very moussey like when you put it on it doesn't feel like it's going to dry down um, but it does dry down deep um, pink I guess I want to say I don't know but it's so pretty you guys look at that so pretty I really love this color um, and like I said, the color range they have with these, you guys, in the store is amazing. I think they were like $4.95 or something like that. So if you're looking for a liquid lipstick that is not going to break the bank, Wet n' Wild matte lipsticks are in it to win it. So pick it up. The next one I want to talk about is this, um, this is the color Wolfie, and this is by ColourPop. This is like a really, like, um, this is a metallic color. Did I say that already? It's a metallic, um lipstick and it is like a like a maroon color but it has like flicks of gold it's up on camera but I don't know if you guys can see like it's like an iridescent um that it has to it but it's really really pretty and I have to be honest I haven't really worn that much just because I was afraid to wear it because it's a little intense I'm like okay I don't even know if that's something I would like to, just because I like to wear gloss, but I like, I don't know if I like the pigmented gloss as much as I just like a regular liquid lipstick. Like I feel like, I feel like if I'm gonna wear color, then I want it to be in liquid lipstick form or something that's matte. You know what I mean? If it's gonna be, if it's gloss, if it's supposed to be like a gloss, I'd rather it be like a, a clear gloss not all the time it just depends on the color you know what I mean I don't know if I really if I want big red glossy lips or big magenta glossy lips you know what I mean if that makes any sense um, this is the I love Sarah 2 um, by with ColourPop the collab it's the ultra matte lip and is in the color mamacita um, this is a really pretty burgundy color um, and this is really deep you guys like deep and bold color so if you're not a deep bold type person I would not recommend this color now I will say this color is really pretty but it, it goes on a little funny you kind of have to keep applying and it, and it bleeds also so if you don't have the patience to put on a liquid lipstick like this bold color and you feel like okay I'm gonna color out the lines then I wouldn't pick it up it is a really pretty color but there are a lot of other deep liquid lipsticks in this shade from other lines that may be more wearable and be easier to apply but um it's it's not bad if you want to try it i wouldn't i wouldn't say don't buy it but it takes some time and like a little bit of concentration to apply the next color i want to talk about you guys is this uh, lip gloss by um i think this is a matte i can't remember it rubbed off this is by ColourPop. it's the um kathleen lights collaboration and it is in point zero and it's a really pretty brown color now, I remember, yes, this is a liquid lipstick, I think, because it's going on a little moussey. I'm going to believe it dries down until, I don't know if it's the ultra matte or not. Anyway, um, I remember wanting this color so bad because I really, it was last year, I wanted a really, really pretty um, brown, you know, for the fall. It doesn't swatch on my hand like it swatches on my lips. Now, when I applied it to my lips, it was pretty but when it dried down, it had a gray undertone, and that is not my thing. Like, maybe this year I'll try it, and maybe I'll like it, but 
when it dried down, I was like, dang it, I was so mad because I wanted this so bad and I wanted it to work so bad. I even tried using a brown lip liner to see if that would mix well with it and it just didn't do good for me. Not saying you shouldn't purchase it, but if you do, just keep in mind that if you're my complexion, it may dry down on you um, with a gray undertone and that I did not like that, but it's really pretty. It swatches pretty and it's pretty in the bottle, but it just didn't work for me. This next one, you guys, oh. I, this I would say is the perfect fall color. Perfect. This is the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink, you guys. It is in the color Fighter. Now I have a few of these and it applies so beautifully, you guys. I love the applicator because it kind of points as if like your lips point at the tip there. And this color is just so pretty. It dries down good. I did a video, um, I think it was a fall God, what was that? I don't remember the name of the video, but I'll link it so you guys can see um, the I look that I, that I did with this. But it is so pretty. Oh my God, I feel like this color would go well with anybody's skin tone. It is just beautiful. Guys, I love. I could, if I could wear this every day, if I could wear this to work, I wear it to work. But <laughs> it is just a really pretty fall color. It just gives me the feel of pumpkin. Like I feel like this this color should have been named pumpkin spice. It's called fighter. But it's, it has the wrong name. Maybelline, you have the wrong name because this should be pumpkin spice. It is so pretty. Look at that. Oh, it just gives me fall vibes. Okay, this is the Infallible by L'Oreal um, Pro Matte Liquid Lipstick. And this is the chocolate line that they've come out with. Now, this does smell just like chocolate, you guys. And it's a really deep, deep brown. If you're looking for some really pretty chocolatey lips, this is gonna get it. I have not worn it yet, but I've swatched it. And um, I have to say, I wasn't expecting it to be this chocolatey, but if you want a vampy, smoked out look, grungy lip, this is the lip that's gonna get it for you. Um, this color right here. Now that is so pretty, perfect brown for fall, you guys, perfect. And it, it really feels good on my hand swatching. It feels soft. Um, I'm, and I know it's gonna dry down, but it feels really good. Um, and I'm gonna be rocking this this fall. And like I said, you guys, these, oh my God, it smells like a, a yummy piece of chocolate. Like, I don't know how they get this little mix going or how they do this, but it smells like a chocolate. It smells like a cocoa, like a real chocolate, like not Nestle Quick chocolate, like the real cocoa chocolate that you would make your hot chocolate with. That's exactly what this smells okay, like. Okay, the last one I wanna to mention to you guys, this is the NYX Lingerie, uh, what is this? The Liquid Lipstick in the color French Made, and this is what it looks like. This is Now this is a really pretty mauve color. Um, and I've worn this particular brand, uh, line before not this color it was a little i think it was a little deeper than this the color that i had it was really pretty um this one applies moussey too um and like i said it's a really pretty pink mauvey color and that's what that one looks like but they're really pretty you guys really 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 pretty yeah that is all the colors you guys that i mentioned see how this one kind of dries down a little harsh more harsh than this one. This is the Mamacita one from ColourPop. This one right here, the one I was talking about that, you know, if you're not really ready for a, a bold dry lip, then I would pick that one up. But it's really pretty. It just dries down so much harsh than the Wet n Wild liquid lipstick. Like this one feels really soft. And this one, this one is soft too. You can just kind of feel, it feels a little textury. So it's not bad, but you can kind of feel, um, and then it rubs off too, see that? That means when you go to drink your your wine or your tea or whatever, that's gonna happen to your straw. And I do that's not a fan of that at all. And this one doesn't. Look at that. So so sorry, that's mask under my fingernail right here. But these two, so this is the Mamacita and this is the Wet n Wild Liquid Lipstick. And look at that. Nothing with this one when you drink from your straw, and boom, all of that right there on your lip is gonna be looking terrible. I cannot stand that. I cannot stand to have on a pretty lipstick and go to drink my drink and I look and all this is gone. That is not cute. Mm -mm. But anyway, these are all the colors. They are so pretty. These are all fall-like colors. I'm into it. Get into it. You guys, fall is coming. 
hurry up and go pick up your fall lipsticks, you guys. Okay? Like, what are y'all waiting for? <laughs> I'm going to leave everything down below so y'all can pick up whatever you may like. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave me a comment below. If you have not yet subscribed, go ahead and click that subscribe button. There will be more fall-inspired videos to come, and I will see y'all in my next one. Bye.